We're Sinead and Josh, and this is Life's a Beach. This week we're trying to survive a monumental heat wave that's been coming through the south and just got to Franklin, Tennessee. It has been so hot, we've been doing everything that we can to just survive the heat and make the best of a bad situation as things around the house started to fall apart, so we had to make some unexpected makeovers. I even tried to cook an egg outside <laughs> on the ground. So if you guys are excited for our little science experiment, make sure you smash the like button and click that subscribe button because we would love to have you a part of our YouTube fam where likes to be. It's about eight o'clock on Monday morning and it's already 85 degrees, which I don't know what it is the other way around. Probably let's say like 36, 37, 38. Anyway, it's hot. It's like being on the sun. Everybody did tell us when we moved to Nashville, Tennessee, Franklin even, um, that it gets super hot in the summer and very humid. And last summer weren't that bad. Like we lived in LA, do you know what I mean? For almost 10 years, Sinead over 10 years. And we were like, nah, that's all right. This is some serious, serious heat. This week, we're pretty much trying to stay cool. Get some work done, not stay cool as in wearing sunglasses and only listening to like, you know, cool bands. I'm talking about, you know, not overheating. We're gonna be swimming. We're gonna be getting work done. We've got to pick up some more outdoor furniture. But see, we're just cracking on, trying to survive, trying not to melt. I'm scared, you know? I might just be a puddle of water by the end of this episode, which would just be such a shame for the world. Anyway, yeah, it's hot and I'm going mad. Plus, I've also got to continue, obviously, my marathon training. If you haven't sponsored me yet, there's a link in this description. Um, I'm running a marathon, raising money for Children with Cancer UK, inspired by our lovely friend Betsy, who's nine years old, fighting cancer really hard. It's so hot, and <laughs> it's only getting hotter. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Survive the heat wave, chapter one. We're heading to the splash pad. Yeah. It is absolutely baking out, isn't it? You know what makes it even hotter? Carrying a 35 pound child. What's annoying about it being so hot is it makes you move so much slower, but really you just want to get back into the AC as quickly as possible. You're heavy! So are you. So am I? Yeah. Yeah, I am, but I'm not making you carry me, am I? Got Bowie's goggles at home, and Josh was like, Maybe they sell them in there. So he said to the lady, You don't sell goggles in here, do you? And she went, No, um, we just sell waters. <laughs> I don't think she understood your accent at all. Like, goggles and water, not the same category. It is busy. It's a new day and another hot one. And I forgot to water my garden yesterday, so I'm hoping I'm gonna find plants that are still alive. <gasps> oh no! Oh, okay, how we doing? Well, this has seen better days, but these look surprisingly good. We lost a strawberry though. It's a potato! A tomato! We have one tomato. little tomato. The tomato plant has seen better days and they still only have one little tomato growing, so I don't know if that one's gonna make it, but let me show you some cool stuff. We've got one very healthy butternut squash coming, and then a little guy over there, some zucchini. Some of it might have not made it past the first day of the heat wave, but these guys look all right. My pepper plants are thriving, and they're getting so heavy because of all the peppers that are growing that they're falling over. I think I need to get some steaks for those. And then this is the one I think I'm most excited about because I'm old and these things excite me. 
I have a cantaloupe growing. Where is it? Huh? Look, here he is. That is what a baby cantaloupe looks like. I had no idea. And these are all strawberries. So let's see if we got any good ones for Bowie. No. <sighs> Whoa, look at that bad boy. I really thought the strawberry plants were gonna like bear so much fruit and be Bowie's favorite activity, but one little strawberry is all we get every week or so. <laughs> Who wants a strawberry? How is it? Thumbs up. Yay. And what are you doing, sir? What are you doing? He's playing with the strawberry, Mama. Oh, are you going to show us your new hat? Are you going to show us your hat? Oh. <gasps> Having a barbecue is a great idea in theory because you know it's hot, you want to eat a burger on a barbecue, but I forgot you've got to stand by it. You've got to stand by a flame when it's 110 degrees, which is just, it's just, it's just not right, is it? You're glowing, daddy -o. It's warm. <laughs> it's warm. It looks good though. Yeah. Like the barbecue chicken leg. I can go with that mom. All four of us on the ATV. Can go first to the shopping. Now. We're going on a mission. A sticky, icky mission. We're going to get patio furniture spruce up the deck. I've had the same patio furniture for many, many years and it's crusty and... Okay. It's crusty and falling apart. So, we are going. I don't want to. I know, because it's hot. Hot, hot. I get it. Too hot. Too hot. But we got AC in the car. So as long as we make it to the car, we'll be okay. Everybody load in. So we're going to pick up outdoor furniture to replace the one that we have. And we are also going to pick up a new faucet because there are leaks under almost every bathroom in our house currently. Um, so the plumber came this morning, we gotta replace that. I'm gonna try and make it fun because we're getting new patio furniture, but honestly it's so dang hot. I don't know when we're gonna actually be sitting on that patio furniture. Have you cooled down yet? Not yet. But you look cute. Step one, done. My little assistant, let's go to the checkout. Job two, done. Done. It's about 100 degrees. Here's your weatherman, Joshy B. First job, get rid of this, put this back in the trailer and the truck, donate it to our local donation centre where someone will love it. And then put the new furniture up here.
impressions. So much better. Like it? <laughs> I love it. No cushions on yet, no. but it's a vibey vibe. Yay, yay, yay. 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 All right, this last bit done. In with the new, out with the old. Can you see the perspiration on my face? Yes, you're glistening. You can also see it on your shirt. Oh my god, am I that guy? Your booby sweat. Is it? Yeah, you got booby sweat. Is it? <laughs> I'm keeping the kids alive. They're still alive. They're good? They're alive? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. That's the best. It's so good. That's all I can really hope for yep. from you at this point. Thank you. Know, you. The thing is, how am I going to fill them cushions in there? What do you reckon? I don't know. But I have to go make sure that they're okay. okay keep them alive. Bye! Bye. It's cool because I like this one better anyway. We are on day four of this insane heat wave and it reached new heights. We went back to the pool today. We had to leave almost immediately because it was just ridiculous and felt literally unsafe to be outside. But now it's later in the day. So we are venturing out for one very important reason to see if we can cook an egg on the ground outside. When we were driving in the car on the way back from the pool, it said it was 98 degrees outside. That's obviously not including the like humidity index. It feels over 100 for sure. So we'll see. We'll see if this little science experiment works out. Well, do you think the egg is going to cook on the ground? Mm -hmm. You do? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's going to cook? Mama, I will hold the egg. Do you think it's going to cook, King? <laughs> Mama, I'll... Mama, I will hold them carefully. Real careful, okay? I won't crash them. Okay. <laughs> climb. Oh, climb. Keep climbing. I don't like going on. <laughs> okay, go sideways. Okay. <laughs> How's that in the 100 degree heat? Woo. <laughs> We're craft people, Josh Peach. I've always been craft people. I know, the dark that was like the best bit that came out of the pandemic for me was Crocs. <laughs> Love of Crocs. Yeah. Then I don't know if it's gonna try. I think we might have left it too late in the day. Oh, maybe. Try it then. Moment of truth. Our neighbours are gonna love us. Moment of truth. Right? Oh, oh. oh, it's gonna cook. It's gonna cook. I don't think it's gonna cook. I don't think it is either. But maybe. Uh. Yeah, it's starting to go white there. It ain't gonna cook, is it? No. Now what do we do with that? I don't know. I think we gotta hose it down or something. The hose ain't gonna reach out here. Oh no. Get a bucket? <laughs> yeah, I have to get a bucket. Well, disappointed. In what was it? My girl, they showed the people doing that. A lion. Another thing Hollywood lied about. <laughs> well, disappointed, man. That's like all my childhood dreams gone. <laughs> all of them. Every single one was counting on that one egg. <laughs> Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Oops. Poor beer all over the new <laughs> thing. Luckily, it's not actual beer because I'm not that guy. Well, not that there's anything wrong with being that guy. Most people are that guy. I just don't drink. <laughs> this also isn't an advert, but this is really great non-alcoholic beer. 
and I'm sipping on alcoholic wine. Well, cause not like wine unless you're in church, no one wants to drink non-alcoholic wine, do they? <laughs> but this stuff's good. It's, I used to drink this as a little baby. What? So like pretty much as a small child, we would drink um, shandy in England. So we did it. We survived the heat wave, but there's no end in actual sight, so we have to keep surviving. Well, it looks like it's going to be, well, oh. they say, the weather people say that it's going to be even hotter next week. So... We're going to go to Florida, which is getting even warmer. The fuck out of Dodge, but we're going somewhere really hot. But we're going somewhere that has a pool and a beach. It's kind of our first sort of holiday that isn't in an RV as a family. I'm not talking about trip, because as you know, we, we trip a lot. Travel. We go to England. We go back to England a lot. We go to Toronto a lot. We go to LA a lot. But as a family, we've not just gone somewhere just to sit on the beach and swim no this is like our first family vacation yeah it's always for work or to visit family but we're we're super excited aren't we yeah we are we were gonna do something um a little bit more i guess well just outside of america we were going to take a trip outside of america but at the last minute we decided that it was better to just do something more local we've got a lot of travel coming up so we wanted to just keep it hopefully pretty easy and straightforward it's only an hour or something's flight Traveling um, with two small wild children. Traveling two small, and during still a global pandemic, let's not forget. Uh, I don't know how easy it's going to be. Well, anyway. It's happening. Yeah. <laughs> so, we'll see you in Florida next Sunday. We'll probably see you on the plane, let's be honest. True. See you on the plane. Cheers. Bon voyage. <laughs>